Hey guys, it's about uh, 7 30 in the morning and we're going to Diamond Head. Missed the sunrise. Sorry, can't. Couldn't, couldn't get up, couldn't get up. But anyway, hotel's nearby. Walking past the zoo right now, Honolulu Zoo. And we're heading for Diamond Head. So uh, come on, let's have some fun. As you can hear the uh, sirens anyway, um, someone got hit by a car down the hill. But on the way, on the way to Diamond Head still, and there's a little park or parking. And check it out. All these chickens. Ah, they don't like me. See? Many chickens running around, yeah? I am very, very surprised. Oh, you want some too? Yeah, you bold, huh? Yeah, okay, get out of here. Anyway, it's uh, quite warm in the morning here. And I was speaking to a traffic warden down the hill. Nice sweet old lady who uh, lets the kids go across the street, or helps the kids go across the street. And she mentioned, hey, listen, you know what? Um, make sure you have your water on Diamond Head. A lot of folks, well, not a lot, maybe, probably more than should, wind up having problems. And then the rescue team must go up and get them, which is a pain in the ass, right? Part my French. For people to uh, have problems because they were uh, negligent. A lot of folks probably, you know, go out drinking the night before, and alcohol can dehydrate you. The next morning, hey, let's go to Diamond Head. And the body's just not ready. So my tip, the tip from me to you is, if you're gonna hike Diamond Head, drink plenty of liquid, bring a bottle of water, and get plenty of rest the night before. Don't stay out all night hanging out, drinking, doing shots, whatever, okay? All right. Now, almost to the gate. It's like five bucks to get in. I thought it was free. But anyway, see you in a bit. Okay, with the entrance, and it's funny, I think I'm the only sucker up here walking to the, uh, up to the crater. Wait a minute, hang on. Little sign. Most folks either uh, are driving or on a tour, and me, I'm a 210. My two feet and 10 toes, let that be lesson to all of you guys. If you're traveling or whatever, make sure you update your driver's license because when you go on holiday and you want to drive, you can't do it in some countries. And that was my travel tip for today. Make sure you update your driver's license. All right, let's keep walking. See? Up, up and away, hey, in my beautiful balloon. After going up, we got to come back down. Man, I am perspiring, sorry guys. I forgot to bring a towel, you know? Sorry, Douglas Adams, but I forgot to bring a towel. All right, you guys, in a flash. All right, you guys, almost there, I think. I see a trolley. I wonder if they're uh, free or not, or you pay a fee or something. Also, private charter. How you doing? Oh, crap. They were free. Dang it. So I see these little trolleys in downtown all the time, yeah? But it's a private charter. It's not free, is it? Private charter? charter? With JTB, I guess? Yeah. All the Japanese guys? Yeah. I presume? Okay, all right. I see it downtown, but I don't know, you know, so I was wondering. There are some that you can get on, though. That none of them are free, but they're like the pink line you can get on, pay two bucks and ride that one. Is that like a circle thing? Yeah, it goes around to like Ala Moana Shopping Center and then through Waikiki. All right, that's for the pink one, yeah, okay. All right, all right. Cool. The other ones, they're like, like the green line is like $20 a day and it comes up here to Diamond Head. And then they have the red line and the blue line that goes out. The blue line goes out to, uh, all the way out and around to um, Sea Life Park. All oh, right. Yeah. Nice park? Yeah. All right, huh. All right, man, anyway, I'm gonna go and uh, do, my, do my duty and diamond here yeah cheers hey you guys this is a long ass this is a very long walk and uh 
I guess you gotta walk through the tunnel. Is it tunnel over there? Like I said, make sure you have your driver's license. Egad! I am very tempted to uh, hitchhike. Anyway, the guy was helpful with the um, different ways around the island. But I still ride the bus. All right, testing the night camera. Let's see. I wonder. It's got lights in here, that's good. Whoa. Morning. Am I the only one says good morning? Am I the only one saying good morning here? It's terrible. People are not so friendly. Oh well. I think oh, I see a bunch of suckers. Oh, these guys came early. Probably right at six o'clock because it must be, uh, dude, it's uh, 8.15 right now. So anyway, cha. That little, wait a minute. That little hut over there is the uh, ticket gate, all right? That is our next goal. And I will see you there. Whoa, I made a mistake, guys. It's only a dollar to get in if you're on foot. So hey, not bad. I thought it was $5. It's five per car load the dollar for the uh the walk-in people so uh eh, it's okay you know because it could charge probably a lot more but a buck is just a buck all right let's keep moving <laughs> gun implant one of the gun what do you call it guys one of the gun emplacements and uh it's hot and muggy but anyway take a look at the view view up here and you can't see it but down there is the pink the pink palace I call it all right so that was exciting so now we're gonna go uh, somewhere else I just followed the uh, I just followed the crowd because it's follow the trail not the crowd follow the trail because I didn't have a map or anything like that and so uh, let's go I'm sweating so much oh hang on choice Go down or go up. Oh, check it out. This is the, the punch bowl, I think, yeah. I think. Or the crater, not punch bowl. The crater? It must be the crater. Oh, that's where we started at. Oh, right. See the, um, wait a minute. Can you see off in the distance, there's the, uh, that tunnel. It should be dead center. I'm about dead center. That's where we came in at. It's that tunnel, huh? <laughs>
lucky key down there. <laughs> kind of good. Kind of. We're done. We're heading back down the mountain. And um, this is quite a nice little hike though. And what's good is that they, part of it's paved, which, let me stop here for a second. Part of the trail is paved, which is good, you know. But the last half, I guess, is not uh, paved, which is just, yeah, that's all right too. You know, but it does get quite hot up here, quite warm. And so if you do come, you know, dress, appro sorry, dress appropriately, uh, have fun. And it can get a little bit crowded up here. And it's better to come in the morning straight away and just get it done. Because I imagine at around 2 p.m. or so in the afternoon, it's probably very, very, very hot. You know, but it's a good view. You see the uh, Waikiki Beach line. You can see uh, a lot of residences which have basically been cut into the mountains and the hillside over there. You know. But most people are pretty friendly on the trail, you know, just hello, small chit chat, and everything else. It's a nice hike. Anyway, I have to get back to the hotel, take a shower, and then find some food. Sounds funny, huh? Find some food. And then go off somewhere else today. But I don't know where. All right, you guys, so come on, let's go. Man, I need a shower. Blah.